We welcome everybody here to the Arnold Motor Supply 360 Nationals. It's a championship night here tonight. Uh, the gentlemen up here really don't need an introduction, but it is my job to tell you who they are. On the uh, far end, Sam Hayfatigue Jr., second place this evening. Closest to me, Sammy Swindell in third, and your winner this year, first time win for him at this event, Brian Brown. Also here with Arnold Motor Supply again, thanking those uh, guys for coming on board again with their sponsorship. We'll go ahead and we'll open it up to the floor for questions. So, Brownie, how's it feel? It feels great. You know, um, we've been coming here 13 years, they said, and it seems like 100 years. And it seems like we've had bad luck or something goes wrong or qualify bad for one reason or another and just don't, uh, just don't get it done. But we had a good call all week long. You know, um, from the time we rolled up, hot lap into qualifying the heat, and last night in the feature we had a good car, and even tonight we were, I think we were a little bit better. So uh, I think the, the key part of the whole night was clean air. I don't know if I would have been starting where these two guys were if I could have passed myself. So um, to get up there, get against the cushion, and just try not to make any mental mistakes uh, was kind of key. It got late there in lap traffic, and I just didn't really want to move off it because I you know, felt pretty decent. You know, it was able to get by a couple there towards the end, and um, here we are. So uh, just. It's like a huge weight's been lifted off my shoulders, biggest one in my career, and um, seems like we, we're always the bridesmaid and can never get it done. And um, the guys gave me a pretty flawless car, and unfortunately, the driver didn't mess it up. Eric, uh, follow up with the brownie. Uh, did, you have, did you make any changes from last night to tonight? Yeah, a little bit. Um, we, I felt like I was a little bit too free um, as the race kind of went on last night, especially after the red there, and we didn't make any adjustments. We kind of tightened our car up a little bit. My crew chief, Jack Morgan, does a good job of paying attention to the track and really watching what's going on. And um, We knew before the box played at that top, I was contemplating just running the bottom, you know, until I got past or, or whatnot. But uh, one day when they went out and worked that track, it kind of changed my mindset a little bit and just kind of got out there and got rolling. Uh, really, the first two, three laps after a, a yellow, our car was, you know, nearly perfect. And, um, yeah, so we made a little small changes, and I think that's, a huge advantage to running here every single week of knowing kind of how far you can go with your car and things like that. So, uh, but just a great package with Max and chassis and gear and engines and all of our great par partners, Casey General Store, FEP, Searsboro. Uh, nice to win an FEP car on our bar supply at night. I kind of dread competition a little bit, but uh, although I want to thank you guys for your support. Uh, you guys have been a great, great partner at Knoxville Raceway and we appreciate it. And uh, thank you again. <laughs> Sam, you started back a little bit and was able to pass several cars come, come up. How do you manage to do that? Was car just working for you or was that just you driving? Yeah, I mean, it was basically we had an awesome race car. You know, uh, simple as that. Uh, I always, you know, I didn't have to fight it on the bottom of three and four. We could, we could flat out it and it really, uh, it really, it really was. In all honesty, you know, we, we, we had a terrible car last night in the feature. We, we were really good until that time, and uh, just haven't made enough laps here this year. And then uh, I talked to the boys and I said, "Man, we got we got to make some changes because if we don't, you know, we're gonna look like we did last night. And uh, you know, I look like a rookie the last four or five laps last night. So I didn't want to repeat that again. So we went to the we went to the chalkboard and we did some work and." Uh, yeah, and, and like I say, you know, it's just uh, we had an awesome race car tonight. You know, simple as that. Uh, anytime you pass Sammy and Dale Knoxville, you're probably pretty good. So, uh, you know, it's a, a pretty good feeling. Eric, Sammy, talk about your night. Oh, we had a good night. Just that's uh, right where I started. So uh, uh, we were just too tight up there on the curve. Uh, it was it was a lot different than it was last night. So. Um, we were ready to make any changes down. I thought maybe the bottom might be there, but it never was really good enough uh, to, to compete with the top. I didn't think you know, it was so narrow. I, mean, I, I did get a couple of good corners from there, but, but uh, it, it was about 50 50 at the other times I missed. But you know, I just made some big mistakes up there uh, between one and two. Got the right front up over the curb, got the right rear, and got up near the you know, just hung up there for a while. The one time I thought I almost almost come to a stop. So uh, after that, I just figured I wasn't going to catch Brown. So I was just trying to finish it out. And you know, after Sam got by me, I said, I just got to back it down a little bit. And this is what we got. 
Any other questions? Did Davey Hedge 